Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Alrighty everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a savings challenge video for you guys, and I will be doing the Budgeting Besties Bingo, um, which is a fun, like, play-along bingo game that you guys can download in the description below. Salisa from Beautifully Me and You kicked it off on the 19th, and she pulled the first bingo number, and I will be pulling the second bingo number today. We are definitely going to get to this, but it will be more towards the end of the video, so stick around. First thing I want to do is... I want to count up this money right here and see how much we have to go into savings challenges today. So this money right here is all of the money that I transferred over into my high yield savings account. So we will be playing with prop money today because this money is safe in that bank account. So let's go ahead and count it up and see what I have. I've got 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93. So yes, I did transfer $293 over. So let's set this money up. And honestly, I've been loving seeing that account grow. So it's kind of nice to have the transfers go in right away because... Yeah, when you have your cash all spread out in your binders, you don't really know where it's at or like how much you have in total. So it's just nice to be using the prop money. I'm liking it. Now, let's go ahead and get into this binder here. And if you guys are new to my channel and you know and you don't know, the reason I am using the prop money right now is because we are trying to buy a house this year and we are pre-approved. So we should be able to buy a house this year. I'm so excited. Um, we saved, worked really hard last year, got ourselves credit card debt free and saved up a good emergency fund and a good payment, down payment on a house. And so we're just working on bulking up that down payment and yeah, we're excited. Okay. I think what I want to do is I want to start here and finish this up. I'm pretty sure I was putting this in this envelope here so let's i know it makes no sense valentine's day and st patrick's day guys i'm behind i'm always behind but you know what the thing about it is i'm the type of person who loves a challenge because i like to complete it so i will see it through regardless and basically up until getting the house the name of the game is going to be completing all the challenges i have in play so that's what we're going to do this was gifted to me from a subscriber and I am working my way through it. It's a Valentine's Day. Um, I'm like trying to look at the same time as I talk, <laughs> but it's a Valentine's Day. What do you call this? Word search. All right, I'm going to look for chocolate. Oh my gosh, I found it. It's right here. Chocolate. Okay. <laughs> Took me a while. I'm going to cut it so it doesn't like take so long. I'm like thinking to myself, what happens if I don't find it? I'm pretty sure I made these a dollar a piece. So chocolate's one. Let's find angel. Okay, I found red while I was looking for angel. And then I thought I just saw angel. Hold on, there's red. Where did angel go? I swear it was on a diagonal here somewhere. Um... Oh no, it's right here. I knew it was close. All right, angel, A-N-G-E-L, right there. Okay, so that's two. So angel and red, I just put. Okay, so the last one is flowers. Let me find that. Okay, on a diagonal, right here. Flowers. Okay, so I got flowers. So I got them all. So I need to put another dollar for flowers. I've got one, two, three. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a five and I'm gonna hold on to these dollars. And then the next one, hold on. So the next one I'm doing, oh, also this is complete. All right, so I've got one completed challenge. Let's go here and I'll do the dollar cause I'm combining everything into this envelope. So I'm gonna do this dollar here and then that's gonna take care of the five. So let's do this one for a dollar. And then this one's so cute. 
Okay, so that one's a dollar. I think this one, hmm. <laughs> I think in the name of like trying to complete stuff, I should do one on here too. Let's do it. Do it a three. I'm gonna do a three here, which means I'm gonna do this two right here for another five. So let's put it. Yep, so let's do that. And then, boom, 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 boom. Love it, okay. And then let's, Dang, I kind of want to put a five by. I also want to do another roll. Let's do it. A three. Another three. All right, let's do it. Let's do another three. Ouch. I just stabbed myself with the pen. All right. Since I did another three, I'm going to do one more two for another five. And then I'm going to do... So that was another five, right? And then I am going to do a five right here. Boom, boom. Boom. I mean, if we want to get somewhere on stuff, we have to start putting the money to it, right? So I hope I did my math right there. 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's swap it out for a 20 and let's drop that into this envelope. Now let's keep going because I'm pretty sure I also combined this one in this envelope as well. So these are some cute little peeps. Let's do a $5 peep right here. Do they have pink peeps? I think they do. All right, there's a $5 peep. And let's go to, and let's go four, and I'll do, a $1 peep up top for another $5 in. All right. And then let's do a $1 peep here and I'm gonna put another five in. And then we'll go on to the next one. My coloring is not the best. All right, so another five in gets me $10. Let's swap it out. And then let's go to this next one here. Okay, so with this one, I'm gonna roll a six-sided dice uh, die and then wherever I go is how many I'm going to cross off. So let's give it a roll. I got five. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Landed on this chick for 10. And then all the carrots are a dollar. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do five and I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back a page and fill in one since I don't have four single dollars. I'm going to fill in one more of these dollar peeps. So let's do that. Let's get a green and do another little dollar peep here. Cute. All right. So that's 15 or 1025 because I did 10 there. All right, so let's trade this in two tens for a 20. So let's add in another 20, 25 into the envelope. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color, uh, I'm gonna color on this. So let's go ahead and flip forward to this because that'll be after. Let's go ahead and grab this out. So for this one here, this one's really cute. I'm gonna grab my marker and each one of these leaves is $2. So I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do four. Oops, I went outside the lines. And I'm gonna do six here, okay? And then I'm going to add another five, six to this envelope. And let's count it up and see how much I saved in total in all those challenges. 20, 40, 45, 50, 51. Why don't we trade this in for a 50? And we have $51 in these cute little like Easter and St. Patrick's Day themed challenges all right cute cute okay so if we flip to the front of this i have this one right here 
And this one comes from Lisa Grateful Me or the Happy Mailbox Co. on Etsy. And I think what I want to do is knock out a big 10 right here. So let's go 10. And since I have green in my hand, let's do another 10 down here for 20. And that will be good for this envelope today. So let's do 10, 20 into this one here. All right, and then this next one here is my color roll and save. You guys can find this on my Etsy shop, which is linked in the description below. This one comes with two A6 size challenges. You can tuck them into a zipper. You could tackle just the high one, you could tackle just the low one, or you could fold it up to create a little paper envelope if you like that as well. All right, so on this one, I have some roll spots left, but I think I'm gonna be strategic and do this 15 right here. So let's go ahead and color the $15 symbol. And then I think I'm gonna do this five over here and we can call that 20 bucks and we'll drop it in. Now this isn't the exact blue, but I'm okay with it. We're going with it. It's cute, it's cupcake looking. Love it. So 15 and five for a 20. And I hit this last time. So there's 40 bucks in here now, which is awesome. Okay, let's do this next one here. I'm going to try to, I'm going to come back to this, but I need to make some room. Ah, look, there's one I can finish up. I wonder how many of these I could finish up. All right, let's see. So this one came from Divine Savings Co. These two here, that one's complete. Uh, this one came from Ellie on Earth. I've got one, two, three, four rolls on that and two here. This one came from Save with Judy. So let's start by finishing off this one right here for one and two dollars. So that was one, each heart is worth a dollar and that's two. And then let's put the two down, one, two and also let's give a cheer for another completed challenge okay so then this one here hmm let's see how many spaces i have here one two three not spaces letters um because each letter is worth a dollar so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so let's do ten there and then let's do some rolls on here and see where I get. And I'm gonna use my dice, that's one through three. So let's go ahead and roll. And I got a two. So let's do two, let's do another roll. One, so that makes $3, we're up to three. Go again. And then another two, so that makes five. So two, four, five, so let's put a five. And then I only have one more roll to complete it, so let's go for it. So I got a one, so one. And then I'm gonna start counting on here again. So one dollar so far, and then this makes two, three, four, five, six, seven for the apostrophe, eight, nine, ten. 10, I think I gotta go with 10 because that way I can actually just put a 10 like that. Okay, so let's count this up and see what we have. We've got 10, 15, 16, just kidding. We've got 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. Swap the two 10s out for a 20, so 25, 6, 7. And let's add these completed challenges in and see what I have in this envelope so far. So we'll add all the money together count it up and see what we have in savings so far. All right, so put my 10 in its place. If I can exchange out some ones, we might be in business. 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I'm so close. All right, okay, so I am gonna finish this and I'm gonna do it by coloring one, two. I'm gonna put a five in and take three back. So one, two, three back. And that completes it. And then did I buzz this for the other one that I completed? I probably did. 
All right, so let's add it all up again. Now that it's all complete, I've got 20, 30, 35, 41. So 41, um, and that's not, I have pulled money, but that's all we have so far in here. And all these challenges are complete, which is awesome. And I get to put a fully funded slip. So let's go and grab one. All right, so in the back here, I've got some fully funded slips. Super cute. You guys can find these as a digital download on my Etsy shop as well if you like to be creative with stickers. Find me a paper clip. Paper clip it on. Here we go. All right, cool. So that is fully funded. And then we've got these ones. I think I'm going to skip these for now. We did this one, which is great. Just a boba mystery. I feel like I can complete this as well. So let's go ahead and do two scratches on here and see. All right, so let's go ahead and scratch these last two. This one comes from Snow Garden 307. Just a boba mystery. All right, a dollar. Okay, I have a dollar. And I love boba. So I really like, I like the milk tea boba. Vanessa likes the taro boba. And then I also like, hold on, just drop something. Um, and then I also like the Thai iced tea boba. Those ones are really good too. All right, let's see what this one is. A six. Dropping things. When I scratch, things just go like flying on my desk. That's hilarious. Okay, so $6. So let's do five, six. Five and six. Let me clean this up. Little kitty on the cleanup. And then this one has a back side, which is cool. But I gotta give a cheer for completing the front side. That one is done. And then I think I'm gonna wait and start the back side next time. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. Let's take two fives for a 10. And there's 17 in there so far, which is awesome. So let's drop this down in. Oops, forgot the challenge. I'm gonna flip it. And um, yeah, let's just drop it like that. Perfect. Awesome. So then we have my It's Beginning to Sound a Lot Like Christmas Savings Challenge book. So why don't we go ahead and open up and ooh, look, I already got the pink one all done. I'm on to this. I'll be home for Coco, but I think I changed it in the second edition of the book. So you guys go on to my Etsy shop and this is still in stock. It won't look exactly like mine but it is a fun Christmas challenge scratch off book that should save you a thousand dollars. All right, let's do this one right here. These ones scratch like butter. I love them. All right, so that's a 10. So let's go ahead and put $10 in to this. And then should I scratch more or I'm just going to wait and I will keep up on this later. I need to catch up on this a little bit. I feel like I'm behind but i want to make sure i still got some money for other binders so let's call a 10 a 10 and move on from this binder let's grab out the next one okay so in this binder oh that's where it is all right i was looking for savings with share bear which is this one right here this one came from Mari over at budgets and chaos and it's super cute and I definitely want to hit this one. So let's go ahead and give a few scratches on here. Savings with Share Bear. All right, so I got a three. I'm not certain that I actually have $3. I have a dollar. So let's just add it in our head. So we're gonna go three plus whatever this is right here. Five, okay, that doesn't help me very much. All right, so let's scratch another one of these. So we're up to eight so far. Let's go here and see what I get. Ooh, 10, so we're up to 18. We could always round up to 20. Or we could scratch one more and see what happens. I mean, let's just scratch it, see what happens. Oh, it's not, the luck is not on our side, okay? All right, it's calculator time. Enough math in my head. So I've got three plus five plus 10. That was 18 plus nine is 27. Oh my gosh, 27, huh? We're gonna have to round up to 30. All right, so let's just do 20, $30. We'll round up on this and drop this down in. 
Now, how am I going to ever get rid of this other 50? I'm going to have to put $50 into something. It's like I'm close. Should I just keep going and put the 50 into this? I'm already at 30. Let's just keep scratching, see what happens, okay? Well, we're technically at 27. Let's just scratch more. <laughs> this is like, I always think that scratching another one is going to solve my problems. Oh my gosh, this one kind of did. If I would have scratched this one instead of that nine, I would have been good. All right, so... I had to, well, now I'm at 29. I'm closer to the 30, but I'm farther from a 50. I mean, heck, maybe these last four takes a 50 and I finish a challenge. Let's just keep scratching and see what happens. What's the harm in it? We'll stop when we get close to 50. Okay, I got a seven. All right, let's add that. Add the seven. All right, 36. We're doing okay. We're going to scratch again. Scratch over here a five these heart ones are cute they leave like a little a little outline cute all right let's add a five 41 all right if i get a 10 i go bust no whammy no whammy right all right let's scratch this and hope it's less than a 10 or that it's exactly a nine it's a two <gasps> all right i think that maybe i'm gonna complete this I think I'm gonna complete it without without going over 43 all right this needs to be a seven I decided it's a four I'm still good I'm probably gonna have to put the 50 regardless but so let's add four so 47 so we're putting the 50 and we're calling it complete savings with share bear we did it All right, no amount of baby vacuuming is gonna help clean up this page right now. So I'm gonna take the 50 for my $47, drop it in, and we've got another fully funded challenge. Let's grab this one here and stick it on the front. This one came from Two Sister Bees, super cute. And we'll drop that like that. Okay, so then that does it for that and then let's switch I think I want to switch binders because yeah I uh I'm gonna pull this since it's fully funded I don't want to forget about it so let's pull that and let's switch binders we're going over here we're going to kittens without mittens I'm gonna drop this in the back of this binder so I remember to pull it when I pull completed challenges at the end of the month and I had already done some, I had already played with these ones here. So I've got money in these envelopes. So I wanted to keep going on these ones. So let's go for this cute little kitty. We got the kittens without mittens. Oh, they're so cute. Look at this. I got to go orange cat, right? Orange cat. We used to have an orange cat. So cute. Oh crap. I have to be strategic. Well, I can do 11 and use up my very last one. So let's do that. Let's go 5, 10, 11, and let's add that in with what's already in here. And you got 10, 15, $21. Why is my 10 above my 20? What have I been doing with my money here? $21. Okay, before I do any exchanging, I'm going to exchange out 10, 15, 20, okay? So I'm swapping out 20 for 20. And I still have $21 in here, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and drop this down in. And then let's take a look at this one here. I think I told myself I wanted to complete this one, but my money pile is dwindling. Actually, I got a good amount of tens and a good amount of fives. So, all right, let's go for it. This one is super cute. Came from Divine Savings Co. as well. And this is a flower symbol this flowers worth okay five so that's worth five all right let's go for the next one okay this one's a present presents worth 10 steep all right let's hope i get another like chocolate that's three right well actually i got a chocolate i don't even have three dollars all right so i'm rounding up i'm putting another five and then let's do this one here Sure enough, it is another flower, and the flower is five as well. So let's put that, and then let's count it up. 
I've got 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's take two fives for a 10. 10, 25 going down in. And guess what, guys? I've got another completed savings challenge. So let's add this in. In this envelope, I have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 43 dollars which is awesome. So that is all cleaned up. This one is fully funded. Let's grab out another fully funded slip and we can drop that in the front. If you guys are wondering why there's money already pulled is because I pulled all the cash out of my binders and put all that money into my large savings challenge goal of saving $10,000 and that money already went to high yield. So yeah, I'm working with the prop and I'm loving it. Okay, so let's, ooh, I'm definitely gonna complete this one. Look at this, I only got two left. But this one was mean to me last time. It gave me a 15. That's all right, I still love you, Ellie. This one came from Ellie on Earth and it's a super cute little, little kitty. Okay, seven, I can handle a seven. I hate hearts, I hate candy, I hate this day. You're so funny, you little kitty. All right, I'm putting a seven on, I almost said on the clock. Oh, what's this? Oh, a five. All right, cool. So we're going with a 10 for the seven. We're going with a five for the five. Putting in 15. And we're completing the savings challenge. That is awesome. I love it when I complete savings challenges. It's like the best feeling in the world. All right, let's go ahead, count this up. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50 bucks. Man, where's my 50 when I need it, you know? That's all right. Okay, so let's put this in, put this one in, and then we get to put a fully funded. Oh, kitty, kitty, look. That's so cute, I can't. All right, cute, cute, cute. Okay, so then let's go to this next one. This one is Llama Llama Love, and this is one of my savings challenges. You guys can find this on my Etsy shop. Super cute. If you love llamas like I do, gotta get you one. Oh, 10. That's kind of that kind of works out though. Like 10's like steep. It's one through 10 on this challenge. So I'm probably just gonna scratch that one. But that 10 actually worked out. So let's put the $10 in and count this up. I think there's 15. 10, $15 in llama llama love. All right, let's drop this down in like that, like that. And then let's do this little Nomi. So this is one of my color scratch and save challenges. You guys can find these on my Etsy as well. You can scratch if you're feeling risky. A dollar, all right. Or you can color if you want to be safe. And I think that's what I will do. I'm gonna take my dollar and I'm gonna take my nine. I'm gonna color my nine and my one. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna color my nine and the one that I scratched is gonna be $10. So let's go ahead, color my nine. I'm gonna color my one and I'm gonna do 10 bucks into this one. And once you scratch them off, if you color on them, use something that you can color on lamination and you are good. So $10 into little Nomi and this one has 10, 15 so far. So that is perfect. Let's go ahead and drop this one down in. And then what are we gonna do? I've got 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, $35. Let's go back to the front and see what else we have. So I've got the kittens without mittens. The name of the game is completing challenges, right? So what else can we do to complete some of these challenges? I could scratch again in Llama Love. Let me actually go ahead and get out another binder. So let's go ahead and grab back this one right here. And this one, we've got some good challenges in too. So, okay, so I'm going back to this one here um, because like I said, if we're trying to get through challenges and I've got some more money here, I'm gonna put some more. Okay, so I got a plan, I got a plan in my head now. 
All right, I've got five, 10, 15, $20 that I wanna do here. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do this 10 right here. Oh, that's not the right color. I thought that was that same color. That's all right. It's it's already down. We gotta go with it. All right, here we go. Perfect. You guys love my coloring. It's like a scribble. Scribble. All right, 10. So five, 10. And then how about a yellow five right here? Oh, I wish I could complete this one. I mean, maybe I can. Maybe I should. Five, five. Okay, and then how close are we? Oh, look at this, another five. We gotta do it, right? We gotta complete another challenge, don't we? That's the name of the game. Okay, it's not complete yet, but that was another five. I gotta make sure I put it. So then I just have a 10 left, right? See, my plan, my plan was to do the eight and the seven here for 15. But if I can, yeah, 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 skipping that, going with this. If I can complete this, I'm gonna do it. So let me try to find the correct color. Oh, here it is. Here's the correct color that I was looking for. Yeah. Guys, I can't even draw a star. <laughs> so cute. All right, 10. 10, 10. Boom, look at that. Yes, another one completed. How many is that today? 10, 15, 20, 25, $30 going in to this one on top of the 20. That's 20, 35, 45, 50 dollars in this one. And we've got another completed savings challenge. So I get to pull out another fully funded slip. Cute, cute, cute. Paper clip that to the front. Look at this. Money money that's money right there completing savings challenges money all right cute all right i love it so this one's done you know what that means i get to take it out and i get to put it into my happy planner that holds the completed savings challenges and then i get to do that with share bear too look at that look at that two two done and then i've got a ways to go on this but that is what we are saving towards is saving up that 6,000, saving up $10,000. Okay, so now I just need one more spot to put $5. And let's take a peek here. I've got a five on this straw. So why don't we just go ahead and start this one up? Cute little straw. What color should the straw be? You know when you go and you get boba and you get to choose like what color straw you want, guys. And they're they're the thick straws so that you can like suck up the boba. Um, I always choose a purple straw because purple is my favorite color. So I am going to color this boba straw purple, and I'm gonna save the last five dollars into this one. All right, so this one has, I gotta be careful with this prop money so I don't rip it. 10, 15, 20, one, two. 22 in here. All right, and we did it. We used all the prop money, but don't you worry about my bingo game. If you're wondering, Kelsey, wait, all the money's gone. How are you gonna play your bingo game? I got cash, guys. I got real cash right here. So let's get ready for bingo. Let's put this away. Did I ding the bell when I completed that one? Yeah, you know I dung it. You know I did it. I was like, ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's get out our budgeting besties bingo game and let's count up how much money I have here. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I brought $20 to the game, okay? And now six of this has already been drawn because... Salisa so kicked it off two days ago. If you didn't see her video, I will link it below. And then, yeah, check it out because she did the first draw and she drew a B6. So right off the bat, I'm going to color in this six right here. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to need a little envelope to put the money into. So I got this savings envelope. So the first thing that I did was I went on to 
wheel of names and I typed in all of these things. So, you know, B3, B money sign, B5, B8, BI, NGO, right? I typed them all in there. And then each week we're gonna spin the wheel, draw a number, not each week, it's gonna be every two days, okay? So I'm going today on the 21st. The next person who's gonna draw a number is gonna be Life with Deb Renee on the 23rd. And then Sue's budget is gonna draw on the 25th. Becky's budget journey is gonna draw on the 27th. Budget paparazzi is gonna draw on the 29th. Home Spa Beauty is gonna draw on the 7th of May. And then Priscilla Taylor is gonna draw on the 17th, okay? So if you want this bingo card and you wanna play along with us, go in the description below and grab a copy and then watch all of our channels. Watch Beautifully Me and You. She kicked it off on the 19th. And then we're all gonna do our draws. You can follow along and save along with us. So that'll be linked in the description for you guys. The first draw was Salisa and she drew $6. So I'm gonna save five, $6 right here. And now it's my turn to roll. And what I need to do is I need to jump onto my phone in order to roll, not roll, but like draw the number, okay? So let me jump on there and I'm gonna draw the number for you guys right now. Okay guys, so I am on thewheelofnames.com and you can see that I've got all of my bingo numbers and letters typed in on my spinning wheel. So I'm ready to go. I'm gonna shuffle, 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 give it a spin. Now let's see where it lands. Looking like B8, B8 it is. So I'm gonna make sure to remove it from the list so I don't pull it again. All right, that was so much fun. Okay, I love spinning that wheel. So I got a B8. So man, if we all get Bs, we're gonna hit a bingo in the B row. All right, so let's color in B8. And yeah, we got an A. That's so exciting. Okay, so we're gonna do a five, we're gonna go six, seven, eight dollars. And we're gonna add that in. So our bingo game right now is up to 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. So if you want to catch up with us, we got 14 dollars into the budgeting besties bingo game. And I'm so excited to draw with all the girls and play along with the budgeting besties. All right, so we did it, but we've got a little bit of money left and I could save it for when Life with Deb Renee pulls in two days. So that's probably what I should do, except I just noticed there was a beautiful bee buck right there, and I do save bee bucks for my son. So I'm thinking I should save a little bit of money for my son. So that's what that bee buck made me think of. My son's name is Phineas, so I will go ahead and save the bee buck for him. But I might as well just save the one, two, three, four, five, six dollars for Finn. So we call him Finn and I'm working on this little blippy challenge because um, he loves blippy. So I'm going to save the six dollars for him. This money goes towards his college fund and I haven't been pulling uh, ones out of the bank as often. So I'm going to save six dollars for him today. And that's gonna go towards this little blippy challenge and it's gonna go towards my son's college fund. So in this envelope right now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three. So 23 bucks for Finn. He'll be happy about that someday when he gets to go to college. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and close this up. And that is it guys, we have done it. I saved all the money that I transferred over to High Yield Savings. I started up the Budgeting Bestie Bingo. I did the second draw on that. Guys, make sure to get your cards in the description below. Check out these ladies because they will be doing the following draws. Let's see how fast it takes us to get a bingo. I'm so excited about this one, but that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because I've got a lot more savings challenges and fun videos to come. But that is going to be it for today. So other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.